Hey everyone, Dark Toy Lord here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today we're taking a look at this Transformers Titans Return Brawn action figure by Hasbro. So real quick, we'll take a look at the packaging first. We have the action figure sealed in this plastic bubble. We have some nice artwork of Brawn himself up here at the top. We're going to spin this around. And we have a picture of the toy in both robot and vehicle modes right there. Plus a little write-up of the character himself. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at the action figure. Package contents include the instruction manual, collector's card, AKA tech specs, and then we have Braun himself. So first off, I just want to say that I felt it kind of strange that they released Braun as his own separate action figure, considering they've already released Braun as a headmaster in this series. But you know, honestly, I would prefer Braun as his own actual robot instead of just a head. So I'm very happy that they put this guy out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at articulation. His head here, it's kind of tough because he has a little a bunch of uh, extra parts in the way, but his head does spin side to side. His shoulders go up and down, and they are on a ball joint, so free range of motion. Elbows are also on a ball joint, so they can do uh, like 45 degrees here. But they can pivot side to side also. There's no waist articulation, but he has ball joints in the hips. And then they have the hinge here in the knee. So they can actually, they collapse quite a bit because that's part of the transformation. So he actually has a lot of range there in the knee. And all these joints are duplicated on the other side. All right, so let's go ahead and transform this guy. Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this shield off that's attached to his forearm. Put that to the side. We're gonna take Bronze head, we're gonna spin it around. Come down here to his feet, his heels. We're gonna collapse in to his toes. And then we can go ahead and fold up the legs. Now it might be kind of tough to see, but there is a tab and a slot in the legs. And we're just gonna go ahead and peg them together. Like that. All right, next we're going to take these forearms. Now there was this hole here that the shield was connected to. We're going to spin it around so that hole's facing towards us. And once both arms are swiveled like that, we're going to go ahead and take the shoulder, or pull it up, and then collapse the forearm in. All right, and then the last step is we're going to go ahead and grab that shield from earlier. You'll see here there's two tabs, and then there's two holes here, and we're just going to peg that in, like so. And there you have it. So a couple things. I mean, I'm not sure if I like this right here. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe they could say, okay, that's silver because those are, you know, Nerf bars or running boards. But then we have yellow from the robot. I think just right here, this whole thing looks weird to me. The silver and yellow. Uh, there is a lot of gaps here. So that's also an issue. But I mean, I mean, it is what it is. It's a small toy, so I, they has very little leeway or a little room to work with. And I think they did a good job. I mean, a couple small complaints, but it, in all, it looked, this is a good brawn. And also, we have this, the top opens up, so the brawn headmaster that I showed you earlier, I can actually put in here as a little robot. So there you have it. If you have any comments or questions at all, please let me know below. As always, comment, like, subscribe, and if you feel so inclined, please share. And until next time, I will talk to you later.